Annika. Good to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Congratulations on your new perfume. We're up to G now, right? We are. It's called Gilded Lily, and I brought it along with me today for you to smell. Great. This is great. So tell me, what were the inspirations for this fragrance? Well, the concept is um, Shakespeare meets manga, and the name is the Shakespearean part. Um, the phrase Gilded Lily comes from one of the more obscure Shakespearean plays called King John, and uh, he uses the expression gilding the lily to describe embellishing something in nature. Well, of course, that's what perfumers do, right? That's right. We take things that some people might think are already perfect, but then we combine them in interesting ways or we embellish them with other materials to create something new and something perhaps a little bit more artful and multifaceted. So how does Japan fit into this whole concept? Well, actually, it's the lily itself. Mm. Uh, I used uh, the gold band lily of Japan. Uh, it, in Japanese, it's called Yamayuri, and the botanical name is Lilium auratum. And it's one of the true lilies. True lily. So what do you mean by true lily? Well, Victorian plant hunters in the early 1800s found it growing wild in Japan and brought it back to England. I ordered some bulbs and I uh, grew it and it really smells fantastic. It's kind of spicy and angelic but still has a freshness. Hmm. So could you give a description of how your fragrance smells to people who can't be here to smell it in person? Sure, sure. Well, the olfactive category is fruity chifra. The fruit notes are really sparkling and fresh. It's um, pineapple, grapefruit, rhubarb. Um, then, of course, it has the lily note. And it has that classical chifra accord of patchouli, oak moss, and labdanum. You know, to me, it just smells really quite sophisticated and soigné. Great. Congratulations. Thank you.